hello guys now you know how we can get form values and in this video we will create database where we will save these values let me remove this where we are displacing displaying these values let me remove this because now we're gonna we're not gonna display them we're gonna save them in the database so in this video we will just create the database and in the next video we will save them in the database to create a database write localhost forward slash php my admin in the php my admin we create database for our login registration system now to create database go to databases now let's create a database I'm gonna write it registration just registration is okay uh, I think I spelled that right uh, or whatever you can name it whatever you like and I'm gonna go create our database is created where it is where it is where it is where it is here it is registration now we don't have any table in it now remember one thing in the database we have tables where we store values okay in the tables we store values if you don't already know so let's create a table and I'm gonna name this table users because we will save the users values users react records name of the user password blah 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 everything user provide us okay I wrote the name of the table users you can write anything you want first field I want is ID I want every user to have a unique ID like we have in a in a school every student have a unique ID in a school the same thing is here and its type is integer I want it to be in integer okay the ID in school or university you have is also in integers okay so it's good to have it in integer so I don't want it to specify its length or any value only thing that I want to do for it is to auto increment okay what auto increment means auto increment means when a new record comes or a new record come automatically increase it once for example when user signs up his ID will be one and when another user signs up his ID will be two and and it's it will be keep going when another come to three four five six seven eight and it will be keep going it will be automatically getting incremented by checking this auto increment okay don't forget to check this first thing is ID and now we want user to enter first name last name email password re-enter password uh, the uh, there will be only one field for this password okay password and re-enter password this is but just the security for checking that if user enters his password correctly okay there will be only one field for password not two okay and one field for email one for last name one for first name and one for image there will be five fields totally first is first name second is last name third is email okay the type of first name cannot be int okay first name is not in int okay it is in text uh, it's good if we uh, give the type watcher 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 means various characters okay and for various characters you have to specify its length if you will not specif specify its length it will not work okay it will give error and will not be saved okay it will not be saved and it gives an error you have to provide its length first name how many characters can be in the first name maximum could be 20 or 30 okay I think 15 are correct I don't think I don't think so that there is a name which have 15 characters in the first name only in the first name okay and 15 is good is good if someone enters a long first name then we don't have to hesitate because 15 are more than enough last name watcher watcher and I'm gonna give 15 maximum length 15 and for email watcher and I'm how much long email can be maximum I'm gonna write 50 maximum could be 50 I don't think so that there will be an email with whose length can be greater than 50 but in case I'm gonna write 80 okay you can write anything you want
now after email we need two more fields for password and image I'm gonna create two more fields to add two more fields what you need to do write to here okay and click go and edit two more fields for us password and image I want password to be text okay some users write very long password and we could uh, but it I don't think that there will be a user who will write password greater than 80 or 50 but it's good if we uh, if we keep it data type text but you can change it you can write any any data type you want you can write text you can write watcher if you like but I'm gonna write text and the last one is image for image you can write text okay for both password and, and, and image text is good I always write text for both of these but you can change if you want now I'm gonna save it yeah we have a users table I'm gonna click on it and we have all these fields okay so we have successfully created our database and table in the next video we will connect our database with our application okay so thank you guys for watching I will see you in the next video